morning everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel and today we will be doing a book vlog on this book. It's entitled The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and The Horse. I cannot read it backwards and I'm really bad with remembering the name because it's such a mouthful. But yeah, it's a book I really wanted to read for quite some time now because my teacher recommended it to my class at the beginning of the year. And also I thought that the illustrations were absolutely gorgeous so I wanted to give it a try. So for some context, I actually got this book at 30% off from books actually last weekend during their sale. Their sale was only for this particular book by the way, for that particular weekend. So I guess it was just a coincidence that I saw it on their Instagram page, which is kinda cool. Yes, so I guess for a book vlog, I will just film my live reaction to whatever I'm reading because I have no idea how to do a book vlog. I'm still new to this. By the way, here are some thoughts before I start reading the book. It is hardcover. Is that the word? I cannot remember suddenly. Oh no. But yes, it is hardcover. Yes. And I didn't expect it to be hardcover or have such nice engravings on it. Also, I'm not sure what is the demographic this book is aimed at. So, it looks like a children's book. But I love children's books because they are really cool. So, yes, let's get started, I guess. Also, something that I forgot to mention is that I'm going to be reading by candlelight because it will be really aesthetic. So, I'm going to risk my eyes for content, I guess. So now let's actually get started on reading the book. First thoughts upon opening the book. Wow, the spine is really stiff. I'm really scared of breaking the spine because I would be really sad. But look at the music score on the first page. I wonder if it actually plays a song. I have no idea. I can read music but I'm busy. So yes. So as it turns out, this book is for all ages, which is really cool. Also, I think that the handwriting font that they use is really cute, even though I struggle a little bit to read. But wow, the first two pages and I already have a lot of thoughts. I already have uh, some quotes that I would like to write down. This is such a quotable book so far. What the heck? This page made me smile, made me grin, long. This image actually made me gasp, so pretty, my god. This is a heart shape I think, it's so cute. I've, I'm really loving this book, it's, it's so whimsical and like, ethereal actually. I have no regrets getting the physical copy of this book. It is so pretty. The introduction of the book actually recommended that we annotate the book or something, but I a bit shabuta. So yes, I'm going to vlog everything that I think I'm thinking about. So this page actually made me smile. As I read, um, sometimes I feel lost, said the boy. Me too, said the mole. But we love you and love brings you home. It's so sweet. Sorry, I'm so enchanted by all the colourful pictures and the horse is so majestic. This image is majestic. 
I'll read to you all my favorite quotes from this book later, but can you just see this image? It is so pretty. I know I've said that so many times in this video, I'm sorry. But I really cannot. Yeah. This page really made me smile. Also note to self, I think I should probably stop time-lapsing and should just video my reactions instead. Because I'm very e expressive when it comes to reading books. Sorry, I find this really cute. Apparently the author's um, dog walked over the painting. And that's why it splatter marks all over. But I feel like it adds to the illusion aspect of this page. That is so cool. I think this page is the reason why my teacher likes this book so much. Because I think she believes in curiosity. And this page literally says be curious, which I agree with. These paintings are freaking chef's kiss. The horse is a pegasus! <laughs> Sorry, I just really love horses and I really love pegasi. Yes, I used to be a pony, my little pony fan. Oh my goodness. Y'all look at this! Whoa! So pretty! Okay, I need to stop. Yes, I really need to stop. I'm almost finished reading the book and I'm at the verge of tears if it's not very obvious, but... Yeah, I will give my review after I actually finish reading. I still have like two or three pages to go. Yeah, but just saying, I'm, I'm feeling really warm and fuzzy inside right now. Sorry for my shaky hands because I'm really very in awe of this book right now. I just finished reading it and this is my favorite quote I think. So let me read it. So you know all about me, asked the boy. Yes, said the horse. And you still love me? He loves you all the more. Wow, it's, it's... wow. So I just finished reading this book. And I'm deeply in awe of it. I highly recommend it to anyone, like whether you're 5 or whether you're 50, or as the book says, whether you're 8 or 80. Because I feel like this piece is really timeless. It's about friendship, love, and kindness, I think. And I don't know, it's just timeless truths that would carry on with me for the rest of my life. It's not, and it carries stuff that I need to hear as well. Like, about how everyone still loves you even though they know every part of you. Yeah. Okay, this is just a random picture of Sip Blue, but everyone is a bit scared, said the horse, but we are less scared together. It seems so simple, but I feel like it's really profound. I mean, it's definitely better than all the self help books that I've read this year, I think. Wow. Yes, I'm just really in awe. Let me. Give me like a minute to collect my thoughts, my actual thoughts, and make it more understandable because I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. 
Okay, I'm starting to think that Goodreads is a really bad place to get reviews for books. I mean, it gives you a lot of perspectives, but... I don't know, there were people complaining that this book lacks a narrative, which is true, that there is no defined plot in this book. But I do not think that is the point of this book. I'm really sure it's just to give you some truths that you need to hear. It's not something that you want to hear necessarily, but something you need to hear. And I appreciate that it doesn't really have a plot because, wow, everything is just strung together really nicely, even without a narrative. I know I've said wow many times while reading this, I'm so sorry. But yeah, those are just some thoughts. And also, I found the characters of the book really charming. I mean, the characters are the boy, the mole, the fox and the horse. So the boy is really lonely until the mole comes along. The mole really loves Kit. But after spending time with the three of them, wow, the mole is just like... I love y'all too, but I'm too scared to say I love y'all, so I'm gonna say I'm glad y'all are here. The fox is initially a bit scarred from life. I'm not sure what the fox went through before he met all his, all his new friends. But he eventually learns to overcome it. And he learns that friends are important and that even though he has nothing interesting to say, the fact that he is all of is all that matters. The horse seems so gentle and kind, but I know that deep beneath the surface, the horse is struggling too. And I think that's what makes these characters so relatable, even though there isn't a plot to this book. I hope I'm making sense. And the end of the book is just a reminder that learning is an ongoing process. Nothing actually truly ends. So instead of the end, they cross it out and write, look how far we've come. Sorry, the silence was just because I was trying to control my tears. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but yeah, it's, it's so cool. I don't have any better words to explain it. Overall, I really do not have a critique of the book because it was so heartwarming. I, I'm not, I, can, I think I can see why people might find this just an Instagram cringe-worthy book. But personally, I don't think that's the point. I feel like these are words that some people actually need to hear and it will make you feel better in your time of need. Most part, I feel like if you like the Winnie the Pooh books, then you will love this too because it is the we of the Winnie the Pooh aesthetic in my opinion. Yeah, so thanks for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's a bit too long. I don't think it's very long. I actually only spent about 20 minutes reading this book. But yeah, thank you for listening to my thoughts.